Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Merlin the Dragon Alchemist and today we'll be going over the different signs dragons send you when they're reaching out. So dragons can send a various amounts of signs when they're reaching out, so I'll try to go over as many as I can think of. So this list will be perfect for people who think dragons are reaching out to them for the first time, but also for people who are already working with dragons and want to know how the dragons are going to send them signs or what type of signs to look out for. So before we get into the list, I'm going to tell you guys how to really ask for signs because you can't just expect signs without asking for them, but also you can't ask for signs without giving anything. You know, there's a give and take. You have to give offerings or say thank you if you're asking for a sign. So the main thing that I do to ask for a sign is I ask for a specific sign and I give it a time frame too. So let's say... I'll ask the dragons, can you please show me a dragon cloud today? And if there's really no clouds out today, you know, that's okay. There's like mundane before magical, you know? But you also got to be patient and know that they're not always going to give you the sign. Like, let's say you ask for a dragonfly to show up as a sign. Oh, hello. Let's say you ask for a dragonfly and it's the middle of winter. There's obviously not going to be any dragonflies there. So remember, mundane before magical. Now let's dive into the three biggest signs that dragons are reaching out to you. Obviously, the biggest sign would be that you've always had a deep love for dragons. Let's say as a child, you had so many dragon toys, you loved watching dragon movies, and you possibly even had a dragon imaginary friend. The second biggest sign is that they're showing up in your dreams and they aren't just normal dreams, they are very vivid and they actually have like deeper meanings to them. Dreams is one of my favorite dragon signs. They would give me lots of dragon dreams when I was first reaching out and I cherish them so much. So the third biggest sign would be that they're showing up in your meditations. This could be regular meditations or spirit guide meditations. They're making their presence known to you. Now, if you're curious and you're looking for a good dragon meditation video, I don't know if I found one, but I do have a playlist on here of good dragon meditation music, so you can do your own meditations with that music, and I've noticed it's very activating. Now it's time to go over my list of dragon signs. So first off, dragon clouds. I have seen countless dragon clouds, and they look just like dragons. It's honestly mind-blowing. Second sign would be dragonflies. I've already mentioned both of these, but dragonflies are one of their favorite bug messengers. So you'll see those a lot if you're reaching out. And then you'll also see lizards and snakes. So those, are, those have draconic energies to them, and I love them so much. You can see lizards and snakes almost anywhere in the world, and to me, they're a sign for dragons. So fourth one... Seeing dragons on the TV or ads. Now, with House of Dragons coming out, they're in the ads and TVs a lot right now. But let's say just a random dragon shows up or a symbol shows up out of nowhere. You're like, that was really uncalled for and interesting. And it like catches your attention. That's a big sign. So the next one would be angel numbers. This can be signs from any spirit, really. But even dragons can. So the next sign would be that you are really drawn to dragon crystals, or these crystals are showing up in your life a lot. Some examples would be septarian, dragonstone, and seraphinite? I can't say it. But yeah, those are dragon crystals that I use to connect with them. The next sign would be that you're really drawn to plants, specifically dracenias. Both of these plants right here are dracenia plants, and they're actually called dragon trees, so I thought that was very interesting. The next sign would be that you crave meat and butter. I know this is very weird, but dragons, they're obviously carnivorous beings. So you're going to notice that you are drawn to eating more like your ancestors, like carnivore diet maybe interests you, or you just want lots of butter. Butter and carnivorous diet actually helps connect with them more because you're giving your brain all the nutrition you need, and butter can actually decalcify your pineal gland. So I thought that was very interesting. So the next sign would be that you want to spend lots of more time in nature. Dragons are the protectors of the natural world, so their presence is a lot more felt in nature rather than in the middle of a city. The next sign would be that you feel strong energy presences in your space. Sometimes dragon energies can be a lot, and they can be overwhelming. Sometimes it feels like a big pressure. The next sign would be that you are really drawn to the mystical arts, maybe even alchemy. 
you're just really drawn to the occult and all the knowledge out there. A big sign that the dragons give you is that your manifestations are happening almost instantly. Dragons are some of the best beings to help with your manifestations and if you notice that within a few minutes or days that your manifestations are coming true, maybe it's not just you working towards them, maybe the dragons are helping with that. Okay, next sign is that your psychic abilities have been enhancing a lot. Dragons have this unique ability where they can enhance all your clear senses and psychic abilities. So you may notice that you are seeing more, you're feeling more, you're sensing more, and I think that's really incredible because as you work with them more, you'll notice that your skills are also increasing. The next sign is kind of one of my favorites. You may notice that you are hoarding like a dragon. Dragons hoard treasure, they hoard crystals, they hoard plants even. So if you notice that you are doing these, it could be because the dragons are reaching out. The next sign is that you have an unquenchable thirst for knowledge. The dragons are the most wise beings in the universe and they even guard the Akashic records. So if you feel drawn to like learning about history, learning about everything and you just want to be all knowing, that could be the dragon's influences. Another sign that the dragons give you is that you get random downloads about the weirdest things, but you know it's not your knowledge. You know that they're downloads from the universe, but it just could be from the dragons. The next sign would be that you feel really connected to the elements and not just the main five elements, earth, fire, spirit, water, air. <laughs> Pretty sure I named them all. There's actually draconic elements too, like maelstrom, dark, light, chaos. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, it was, it's nine. There's nine draconic elements. So yeah, you may feel a lot more connected to the elements than before. The next sign is that you have had imaginary friends in the past. Your imaginary friends as a child are most likely spirits and you are very in touch with your intuition as a child. But as you grow up, you're told that they're not real. So you kind of shut that stuff off. But they could have been a dragon. The next sign is that you are just drawn to anything dragon related. You wanna watch Game of Thrones. You wanna watch the How to Train a Dragon shows. You wanna read the books. You wanna do all of these things that are dragon related. Like maybe even play D&D. &D. These are huge signs that you are connected to dragons. So these are the main signs I could think of, but of course there's so many more signs that dragons can send you because every single dragon's different, right? So like a water dragon may send you lots of seashells. An earth dragon may send you cool sticks. <laughs> a fire dragon maybe will show you fire. I hope not because maybe it's a forest fire. I don't know, that's just what came to mind. But you know, a cosmic dragon is going to send you maybe a shooting star. All the signs are going to be different for the types of dragons, so just keep an open mind. So sometimes it might get confusing. You might not know if something is a sign or not, and my advice for that is to use your intuition and feelings because that's really how dragons communicate. If you feel a strong dragon presence or peaceful energy, then it probably is a sign. If you feel doubt and you don't really resonate with it, then it's probably not a sign. Remember, always the mundane before the magical. Like right now, the House of the Dragons is coming out in like four days. So if you're seeing dragon ads on TV, it's probably not a sign. It's probably just because the show is coming out soon. I'm so excited for that, by the way, if you haven't noticed. But yeah, that's just your reminder that not everything's going to be a sign, but anything can be a sign. All right, so that's all I have for you guys today. If you have any more dragon sign ideas, please let me know in the comments. I would love to know. If you guys are interested in dragon connection readings, I offer them on my website and I also offer custom dragon art. So if you want to honor your dragon guide with a dragon skull or charging coaster, DM me and I would love to help. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell if you want to be notified for my next video. And I think my next video is going to be how to connect with dragons because we already went over the signs. Now we need to know how to connect.